Okay, we're going to talk about banking with your business trust today. This is one of the questions that people ask me from time to time. And, you know, even on our website, they look for banking information. Banking with a business trust is both a handicap and an opportunity. Banks, brokerage houses, and bankers are all different. The handicap is that not many of the banks, not many of the bankers know about them. And so the opportunity, again, is that you can get that account open. If you do it right and you go through the process, you've got a confidential account. So let's just kind of go through this. If you think about a corporation or an LLC or a living trust, all the bankers know about them. I mean, you don't even have to know anything and they can walk you through that whole process. But in contrast, the business trust is something that just doesn't come up very often for them. It also sometimes can fit into different categories. Maybe you've heard me talk about unincorporated associations. That's another way that some of these accounts, some of these business trust accounts are indexed by the banks. But you need to be proactive in this approach. You need to look up online about the bank. You need to look at their forms. You need to figure out what branch you want to go to. You need to see the different officers. Which one do you want to see? Do you have any pre-existing relationship with the bank which could smooth things out? Do you go to a bank or do you go to a brokerage house? It's because they're both different. You know, some are more simple, some are more sophisticated. Okay, so where do you want to get started with all this? So you can get these accounts, you can get these business trust accounts, but you've got to do a little bit of the work. You're also going to have some KYC questions, okay? Know your customer. Your NAIC codes, you need to know about those. So the more you can smooth this process out for your banker and have these questions thought out in advance, the easier it's going to be to get that account set up and get it open and get it approved. A lot of times what's going to happen is that the paperwork for your trust is actually going to have to go to the legal department and they're going to have to approve it. So that trust paperwork needs to be correct and it needs to be complete. If you have anything missing, they'll kick it right out. Now you also need to think about this. We're talking about a business trust bank account. Here's one of the test questions. Have you ever heard of a banker that got fired because they answered a customer's question with no? They do have, they do run the risk of losing their job if they say yes, and they do something that's incorrect. It's not into policy, it's not in their manual, it's not in their procedures. So a banker is never gonna risk their job for you, for your business trust bank account. And if you try to tell them how smart you are about a business trust and why they should do it, you're not, it's not gonna work. So you need to be smooth, you need to be prepared, you need to do your homework, you need to understand what they need with what are called KYC regulations. They need to know who you are. Do you have a pre-existing relationship with them? You know, what branch do you go to? Do you go to the supermarket branch? Do you go to the business uh, branch? Do you use a, a commercial bank or do you use a brokerage firm to get that account set up? Uh, so these are a number of the different questions that come up and you need to be thinking about this. Uh, and who's going to be the signatory on the account? You got one signatory, you got two, and actually who is that person in the trust? Is it a trustee? Is it a beneficiary? Is it somebody else? I mean, it can be any number of different people, but you've got to get it all done right. So that's the story on the Business Trust Bank account. You can get them done, they're not easy, but they are doable, and you just need to be prepared. If you'd like our help, look at the Business Trustee Seminar. We take people through all that. And to see more of these videos, subscribe to the channel now and reach out if we can help you. My name is James, and our website is trustart.com.